Good morning, our diva today is called Faith is Fearless. Hebrews 11, 8 says it was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as his inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going. There are so many stories of people of faith in the Bible, people that did amazing things for God. Abraham left his home. He didn't even know where God was calling him to go, yet he obeyed what God told him to do. Faith like that takes guts. To leave everything that was comfortable and step into the unknown, that's exactly what Abraham did. He stepped out of what was comfortable and followed God's call on his life. God probably isn't calling you to leave your house and move into a new tent, into a tent in a new country. However, he's probably speaking to your heart to do something. Maybe it's taking your allowance and buying your brother lunch or sharing your testimony with your friend that is really scared. There's something that God can use you to do in these times. However, what God calls you to isn't always comfortable. Usually it's easier just to ignore it. Stay at home and spend the afternoon watching TikTok videos. Being a person of faith means you ignore fear and what feels easy, and you step out into what God is calling you to do. So today, be fearless. God has good things in store for you if you just step out in faith. Just short and sweet, be a person of faith. Um, let's pray really fast for those prayer requests that you guys sent in. And then I want to just go over really fast what you guys should continue to do this week, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for another day of life. I thank you that we are able to continue learning even though we are stuck at home, Lord. I thank you for things like the internet that will make that possible. Father, I pray for the families. Um, that are stuck at home right now, Lord, and I pray for the families that have to continue to go out and work. I pray that you would be with them. I also pray for the families that have lost people, whether it was due to the coronavirus or, or other illnesses, Lord, that are still going on. I ask, Lord, that you would be with them, that you would comfort them. Father, I pray for the doctors and nurses and all the other healthcare workers and people that work at hospitals, Lord, even if it's maintenance and janitorial, Father, they're right there next to what seems to be a very dangerous thing. And so, Father, I ask that you would keep them safe, that you would keep them healthy, that you would, <clears throat> that you would give them strength, Lord, to continue on, that they would be rested up and ready to continue. Father, I also pray for Lily's cousin as she's going to have a baby soon, Father. I ask that you would keep them both healthy and that you would calm that mama's heart, Lord. She, she really doesn't need to worry. And so, Father, I ask that you would just give her peace. I also pray for the track season and for bowling, Lord. It would take a miracle. And so I ask you for that miracle, Lord. Um, I ask for healing in the nation. So much healing, Lord, that we would be able to open up public places again and that we would be able to be with people. So Father, I just ask that you would work a miracle in the world today and that even if you don't, Lord, that your will would be done and that we would see your purpose for it. In Jesus' name, amen. So for this week, I do want you to keep on doing that video. I know it's hard. Hard is not bad, okay? But I am going to say don't spend more than an hour and a half on it this week, okay? If you've spent an hour and a half on it, great. You're good. Okay, I don't want you to kill yourselves over it. I don't want it to be super frustrating, okay? But I do want you to do the hard thing and work diligently. So an hour and a half on that same video that I sent you, okay? After that, you can stop. I'll give you something to do next week, okay? Um... Your attendance question for today. Prayer requests are always welcome, okay? If you'd like to do that, you can either do that in addition to attendance or if you comment on a prayer request, I will count that as your attendance, okay? And then if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? 
that's the normal attendance question okay if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be can't wait to hear